data security in Drive using DLP. You don't need me to tell you that data privacy is a big deal. In Europe, it's been almost six years since the implementation of the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR. And it's still an everyday challenge to keep on top of your sensitive data. The regulation stipulates that we as data controllers or data processors take the correct technical and organisational management steps to implement data protection measures. That is where Google can help allowing your administration team to set up DLP rules that enable you to protect the data that you control or process. But what is DLP? DLP, or Data Loss Prevention, is a policy set which detects sensitive content and applies predefined actions. DLP allows an administrator to create rules to control what content can be shared beyond the organization by its users. DLP can be used to prevent accidental or intentional exposure of sensitive information, such as credit cards, passport, or personal identification numbers. DLP rules trigger scans of files for sensitive content. DLP can be set at different levels of your organization, capturing all user behavior, including or excluding a specific organizational unit or custom security group. DLP actions can include blocking external sharing, warning against external sharing, disabling download, print and copy permissions for non-editors, and applying specific drive labels. Actions which trigger DLP rules will register in the security dashboard. Additionally, alerts can be sent to the admin alert center for the administrator team, or email notifications can be sent to non-admin users in your organization. Mark is going to show us how to set up a DLP rule in the admin console. To create a DLP rule for Drive, navigate to security. Access and data control, and then data protection. Navigate to manage rules here. I'm going to add a rule, new rule. In the name section, add a name for the DLP rule. You can include organizational units, exclude organizational units, include or exclude groups. I'm going to say all in DC test main account. As you can do Google Chat or Drive files. I'm going to select Drive files. Now we're going to add condition. All content is all content in the file. Body is the body of the document. Drive label, if a specific drive label is attached to the file. Suggestions, content added to the document while in suggestions mode. And title is the document title. I'm going to say all content. I'm going to say matches predefined data type. I'm going to select the data type, Ireland passport number. And the likelihood there shows so how confident is it that it's a passport number. It's going to be very low, low, medium, high, or very high. So I'm going to say hi, the minimum unique matches is one, and the minimum match count is one. You can change that to whatever number you like. Now, select what happens when conditions criteria are met. So you can block external sharing, warn on external sharing, disable download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers, or apply a specific drive label. I want to block passport numbers from being shared. And then we can set an alerting policy, whether it's low, medium, or high. You can send it to Alert Center. You can send an email notification to all super administrators, or you can manually add recipients in here. And now you can review before you set the rule up. Name is block password numbers. It's the whole domain. It's for Google Drive files, and it's going to match an Irish passport number. Uh, alerting is enabled. I'm going to block external drive sharing severity is medium. 
And now you can see the rule is active. Thanks, Mark. So that is all well and good for the administrators. But what actually happens at the user interface? Imagine I'm working in talent acquisition and my job requires me to screen applicants' CVs and send them on to the hiring manager. I have my CV stored in a shared drive and I'm going to give the hiring manager access only to this file. I can do that from the hover menu here without accessing the file. Now, as I'm not accessing the file content, I have forgotten that the candidate's passport number is on the CV. That is important and I should not be supplying this to an external hiring manager. I click the share button, add my external hiring manager, add a note and click send. The system gives a pop-up that explains my file contains restricted content and cannot be externally shared. This is because Mark has set up the passport number DLP RU. However, if I change the collaborator to a user within my domain, I can add a message and share with success. What happens if the user needs to share the document with an external collaborator? Simple. Accessing the document, the user can see that the share button has a restricted content icon. This indicates that the document is subject to a DLP rule. When the user deletes the confidential information that is triggering the DLP rule, this icon will disappear. Now the user can access the sharing settings and share as usual. What happens when I add content to a document that triggers a DLP rule where the document already has an external collaborator? You can see a DLP rule has been triggered on this document as you can see the icon on the share button. Clicking the share icon, I can see that the DLP has triggered a change to the external collaborator's permissions. So, whilst they are listed as having permissions, the file will not open and the user is urged to remove the collaborator. Let's look at what the external collaborator sees. Clicking on the document link takes them to a can't access item page and they cannot see the document. Now the user can easily remove that collaborator and save the sharing settings. DLP rules can even be combined to build a strong data security policy. Let's take a look at how this works. I'm creating a briefing document for a brand new pricing strategy that is highly confidential. I name the document and get to work adding the relevant briefing information. As I write the project brief, I reference the project name. My company has a new DLP rule that recognises references to this top secret project and actions a drive label to be added to the document. You can see an internal label has popped into the document as I write with no input from me. Another standard DLP policies applied. Another standard DLP policy applied in my company is a rule that blocks external sharing on any document which has an internal drive label. So, as I add a collaborator to the document, the DLP rule kicks in and a pop-up tells me I cannot share this document with external collaborators because of sensitive material. There's no doubt that DLP can be a powerful tool in your workspace environment to help you protect sensitive information and keep you compliant as a data controller or processor. If you're interested in finding about DLP rules in your domain, talk to your administrator, or if you'd like to find out more from us, contact our sales team today. And until next week, from Mark and I, we'll see you then.